Hello and welcome to Excel 2013. So today we're going to be looking at how you use the sum and the sum if functions. The sum function lets you add all of the values in a column. So for example, in this shopping list, you can add all of the prices to give you a total. To insert the sum function, you can do it one of two ways. The first is to type it in manually. So to do this, you type equals, like you do for every function. Then you type the word sum, and we'll come It'll come up in the drop down list. Press tab, or just put it in manually by putting in a comma, a, a bracket. Then you select all of the values, or the cells, which you want to have the values added up in. Then you can close brackets and press the tick here, or press press enter on your keyboard, and this will insert the sum function, which will add all of these values up. If you want to do, if say the price of milk went up, however, say £1.99, it will automatically update for that change. There is another way of inserting the sum function. Since it's used so often in spreadsheets, there's the auto sum option, which appears here. If you press the auto sum, it will automatically sum the column of numbers above the cell, which you've pressed, which you have the auto sum being inserted into, and then when you press enter, it will again have inserted the sum function for you. Sum if is a slightly different function. This will sum the values of numbers in the selected region based on if they meet a diff separate criteria. So for this, I'm summing the values if the person has paid. So the ones which have got a yes next to them will be summed, the ones which have a no won't be. So to insert the sum if function, first press equals sum if, then you select the range of values which you want to check. So I'm checking if it's a yes or a no. So you select this range of values. Then I want to check if it's a word. So I'm going to put speech marks. If you're checking for a value, you don't put speech marks. And I'm going to write yes. And check that they've paid. Then you put a comma and you select the column of numbers which want to be summed if they meet the criteria. Then you close brackets and press enter and it will now sum the values if that person has paid. If say I change this person to a no, the value of the total paid will go down by £20. Similarly, if I increase this one to yes, and this one to yes, it'll, go, it'll have gone up by an extra £40. That's all there is to the sum and sum if functions. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and like the video. Or leave us a comment if let us know if there's anything you want us to cover in our tutorials. Also check out our top 10 Excel formulas video, including many other formulas like the average, max, min and ranked formulas. For now, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye.